And so at the ripe age of 23, I was back living with my parents, no money, no job. And I'm like, what can I do to, to save up this, this money and be with the person, you know, that I love at the time. And so that's what got me into sales originally. And I've been now doing sales for, this is my 18th year and, um, in two companies at, at Rico for, for 10 years. And, and this is my eighth year at, at salesforce.com. So it's been a, it's been a great ride. Wow. Talk about some pressure to sell, huh? That's right. Always. I guess that was your, that was your why at the moment. Yeah, back then it was. And you know, when, when you're always, uh, when, when you don't have another option, when you have to succeed, when you don't have a fallback plan, it, it's amazing. The, uh, you don't question what you're doing every day. You do what you need to do and you don't question. There's not a lot of motivation needed to get up and do the hard work. And so that's, that was an early lesson that I, I learned in, in sales is you can't think about what you're trying to do. You need to know what it is that will make you successful and execute and execute and execute. Cause I think there's so much distraction and it's so easy, you know, sales, you're really running your own business and, I think unless you really have that mindset of, you know, here's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Here's exactly what it needs to take to be successful, knowing your, you know, your focus areas and um, being able to have a, a you know, a, a, the right, the right discipline combined with the right work ethic and skill. I, you can't really fail if you're in sales and you have those things going, but where I see most people just fall short is they, they don't, have the right motivation. They think it's for money. They think it's for um, mm -hmm. status or recognition. But the reality is you have to have something outside of yourself to truly perform at your highest level. You can't just be relying on it. You've got to have someone else. You've got to have, it could be your faith. It could be your family. It could be um, a goal that you really set as far as um, maybe the home you want to buy. But you have to have something outside of yourself or else the motivation typically is not going to be at its highest uh, level for, for anyone. That's just the rule that I've discovered in life. So I'm always kind of recalibrating each year to, you know, to, to refine my why. That's, that's something I do every year.